Yes, earlier this month, Cape News reported on graffiti plastered on an immigration mural in North Wichita. Well, just a few days ago, vandals struck again. Cape's Brian Ramsdale spoke with the cleanup crew as they scrubbed out the most recent damage. A few hours ago, this wall was covered in black spray paint, graffitied on by a vandal. But out of the ugliness he left behind, developed something beautiful the beauty of a community coming together. Oh, it makes me upset because this is something that represented immigration, and someone just vandalized it and just spray painted it. The world through young eyes, seeing the remains of something ugly. But through the ugly, something beautiful evolved. Volunteers are out at this mural again, cleaning it for a second time after someone drew swastikas on it. We want to make sure that the message of hate that had been left on this mural wasn't visible anymore and the original art could shine in the way that it was intended to. All it took for Miller was a Facebook post about the cleanup and she had eight friends helping her wipe the anti-Semitic symbols off the wall. Of those people were Crystal Botts and her daughter Emily. Crystal brought her young daughter to show the importance of helping inside a community. I just feel like it teaches her um, that we can do something. We don't have to just stand by and, and just be those people like, oh, that's sad that happened. We can actually come out and do something and show support and show that, you know, we're not going to stand for that. Her daughter could be like her school friends on a typical Saturday morning. Still sleeping, probably. But she is getting her hands dirty, bringing the beauty back to a wall that supports more than just a roof. Brian Ramsdale, Cake News.